All right, so the first step in getting this install done properly is actually removing this side emblem. Most of it can be taken out from inside the hood without having to pry too much on this. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. All right, so we popped the hood and I'm gonna show you the pins that we need to work on here. So you can see there, there's a total of five pins that we need to remove. Most of these can be removed just from squeezing right there and right there from inside. You can just stick your hand right inside the, uh, the engine bay here and just unclip them just by squeezing it. These bottom two here are gonna be more difficult and you're gonna need to, if you know, if you have small hands, you might be able to do it, but I had to pry those last two out. But I think it's better to try to get as many pins removed from the inside of the engine bay. That's just gonna ensure that you're not scratching the outside paint. So I'm just bringing my hand in. And as I squeeze these, I'm just prying a little bit from the outside. And I got three, Let's see if I can get this fourth one. No, so my hands are too big to try to get this fourth one. So we have another one right here and another one right here. So we're gonna grab the pry tool and finish the job. I'm just gonna take this pry tool. This is made by Trisvalto. I've used, you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I use these for everything. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. But just something like a nice soft pry tool. You can get under. Take your time. All right, it's off. Now there's a little piece of double-sided tape. This will just come off. I like to take it off really slow. That way um, it will help to keep as much of this double-sided tape on there as possible. There we go, we kept all the double-sided tape. Ideally, you'd like to do this on a hot day. That way everything stays where it is. Or you could use a heat gun. I just am very wary of using heat guns on paint, especially black paint. But um, you know, to each his own. Now there was two pins that were remaining, right? So these pins, I just took this one out, but these pins stayed in, right? Because we weren't able to um, push it out from the inside. So these, you can just go behind, squeeze it, push it out. And then what I like to do is just take these, put them back in place. And now we have this whole fixture so we can work on it and get this light looking exactly how we want in a really professional, clean way. All right, so we brought in our F-150 side marker emblem. Um, this side marker LED kit is by F-150 LEDs. They were nice enough to send me one of these, so I really appreciate it. I actually emailed them and asked because I saw it online. It looked incredible, and it's just what I was looking for. Um, this kit comes with alcohol prep pads. It comes with two side marker LEDs, and they even included some silicone. And this is really nice because I'm going to show you guys how I use this to get in what, my, in my opinion, is the best look and the most um, OEM professional way to have these installed. So let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna prepare it with these provided alcohol pads. After you prepared the surface, make sure you get plenty of time to uh, have the side emblem dry. And once it's dried, we'll move on to the next step. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab the LED lights themselves. And I'll show you guys how I, I'm gonna mount this. I want the wire to be coming straight up. And then if you can see, there's like a little natural divot right here. I'm gonna tuck a piece, a portion of the LED right into this little divot, and then I'm gonna have it run along the bottom. So that's more or less how I'm gonna have it, just like that. So I'm gonna fix it in place 
with, you can either use electrical tape, I'm just gonna use some black duct tape, but I'm gonna fix the top and the bottom piece to the side emblem so I can fill it in with some silicone. All right, so now that I have the top portion kind of secured, I'm gonna run my first strip of silicone and it's gonna be right in this natural divot. So after I put the silicone down, it will have a nice spot for this to sit and kind of just tuck right into. It was awesome that F-150 LEDs included this. They have a nice, this good size thing of silicone and they even have a nice little uh, nozzle here. You just have to cut it off the top obviously, but um, they included this nice little nozzle which is gonna make the application that much easier. All right, now I'm just gonna fit the LED into that little divot here, like it was made for it. See how it fits in there, perfect, nice and professional. And in my opinion, you, you wanna have it installed like this because you want the LED lights pushing out through the vents. I don't know how else you would do it to where it would look you know, it would look OEM or look like how, you know, how it should. Um, so this way it's gonna push the light out towards the vent and give it like a really nice professional OEM look. And the light's gonna be kind of glowing out the side as opposed to, you know, if you, if you mounted it in here, you know, you'd see the individual LEDs and I don't think it would look as professional. All right, so after I kind of put this into the uh, this divot here, um, silicone takes a while to cure, so I'm just gonna take another piece of duct tape. And the only purpose, the sole purpose of this duct tape is just to hold it temporarily in place. This is, you know, not a permanent fixture by any means, but um, what the tape is not meant to hold this LED in place forever but it is meant to hold it temporarily until this, uh, this silicone cures properly. I'm gonna take another small piece, put it right here. Like I said, the only purpose of this tape right now is just to give this uh, LED strip a little pressure so it cures overnight and stays nice and solid and in that little divot where I want it right there. All right, so I got a nice bead of silicone right there. Now I'm going to run another bead and this is gonna be a decent amount, but before I wanna show you, see how the light is nice and snug up against these little honeycomb pieces? That's what you want. You want it to be pretty much touching. So when we run the silicone along the back, there's not any open space for that silicone to kind of run off on. So the trick is we gotta have the silicone touching the plastic piece all along this blue strip here. I'm gonna go in here and hit this with one more little bead. Kind of come. 
coming over the top just to make sure it stays put. And I'll kind of act as like a hook to make sure, you know, God forbid if this got pulled a little bit, a nice bead of silicone that will kind of keep it all fixed in place right there. All right, so now we're just gonna let this cure overnight. That's what it looks like. That's how I set it up. And now the light is gonna be pushing through the vent. You can see perfect placements of the LEDs right there. So this is gonna give it a really nice professional look. You're not gonna see the individual LEDs. You're just gonna see a nice glow of orange or amber or whatever color you decide to pick. All right, so we have our F-150 side emblem. It's completely cured. Now it's time to actually install it into the truck. So how this side emblem is gonna be powered is we're gonna to have to splice it into the side marker light on your F-150. To get access to the wire that connects to your side marker, we're gonna to have to peel back this wheel well liner. And to do that, you're gonna need a 930 second socket and socket wrench. All right, so we're gonna to need to get underneath to this wheel well liner here. And there's going to be three bolts we have to remove. One right here, one right here, and then the last one is going to be right here. Also, to give yourself some more room, make sure you get back into your truck and turn this wheel away from your working space. That's going to give you some more access to peel away this wheel well liner. All right, let's get rid of these bolts. All right, we have our three bolts removed. Now let's peel this wheel well liner out of the way. Just fold it up. All right, so our wheel well liner is out of the way and what we need to get access to is right here. That's our side marker bulb. So just turn this a quarter turn and it pops out pops out nice and easy. So this is a pretty long wire, which is nice and convenient because you can bring it all the way down here so it's easy to work with. And these are the two wires that we need to splice into. There's a blue and there's a black. All right, so to get some good access to these wires, you're gonna grab on to the tape and pull it up. And this is gonna give us some nice access to these wires so we can use our little wire connectors to connect the side marker. All right, so now let's bring this wire closer to where we're gonna actually splice into it, which is the side marker wire. So I'm gonna take this wire, I'm gonna push it up through here. My hand is gonna go right through here so I can basically grab it. So I'm gonna grab it pull it through I got the wire right here and then there's like this little like if you come over here there's like this little metal piece and I'm gonna fish the wire through underneath here all right so the wire is up on top of the wheel well underneath this metal piece under here, under here, under here, and then it drops down to right here. And F-150 LEDs gives you plenty of wire, which is really nice. So then we can get this all neatened up after we splice it together, but for now we're just gonna make this connection and then we'll neaten it up. All right, so you're gonna take this wire and you're just gonna peel these two wires back you can have a black and a red. It's really easy, can't really mess it up. The black is gonna get spliced to the black wire and the red is gonna get spliced to the blue wire. And we're gonna do this with the provided wire clips that F-150 LEDs gave us. All right, so if you never used these before, um, these work, so there's one side that's closed 
So we can only put this wire in so far, right? So we put the wire in and it kind of stops. And that's where we want it to stop. And then the wire that we're gonna be splicing onto is gonna go inside here. I'm gonna push it through. And then once it's pushed through, this clamp closes and connects the two wires. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. That way you ensure you're getting a really nice, strong connection. And then that's it. All right, same thing for the black one. Go ahead and slide this through. This is what the connection should look like. That red plastic piece should be completely over the housing. Otherwise, the light might not turn on because you don't have a good enough connection. If for some reason you do this and the light doesn't turn on, try again, try biting down even harder so that metal piece is making a nice good connection against all those wires and you should be good to go. And we're in business. All right, so this is optional, but if you want to go above and beyond, because people hate these clips for some reason. I've never had an issue with them, but some people apparently do. If you want to go above and beyond, you can get this stuff called liquid, um, liquid electrical tape, sorry. So what I did was I just used an old um, syringe for medication, and I just filled it up. And what I'm gonna do, just to make sure, just to go above and beyond, so no uh, liquid gets in here, is I'm gonna put a little drop of this right here and here. And this is like extra credit, this isn't required. But if you want it to be like super sealed up, you can do that. And then you can flip this around. Another drop here. Another drop in here. Just try to get it in that hole. Go. Now we're nice and sealed up, and that should uh, kind of help with any kind of like liquid that gets in there. But like I said, I've never had any problems. But if you want to go above and beyond, use that liquid electrical tape. All right, now we're just going to reinstall the side marker where we found it. All right, now we're gonna put our side emblem back in and then we'll tidy up these wires. Like I said before, I put all these pins back in here just to make these pop in nice and easy. Get this wire out of your way. Snaps in really, really nice. And then just hold down, this is the double-sided tape right here. Just hold down on this for I don't know, a good 30 seconds. Let it adhere to the truck again, and uh, we'll be in business. So this is all personal preference, however you wanna get this um, all tidied up, but I wanna make sure that this wire is not like bending and like 
basically like ripping the LED down. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of duct tape and then I'm gonna um, attach the wire to the body at the top. I'll get a better angle here in a second and show you guys, but um, just to make sure that it's not getting pulled on, I'm just gonna put a little piece of duct tape here and fasten it to the side of the, uh, the side of the truck. All right, once you have the wires kind of tidied up the way you want, we're just gonna put this wheel well liner back. Let's cut to some night shots so we can see how this came out. I'm actually speechless. Like, it looks so sick. <laughs> like, that looks, what? Like, that looks so perfect. That's exactly how I want it to come out, honestly. Like, it's just subtle enough. It's not like in your face. It's just a little touch of light. It's coming out really, really nice. There's not a ton of light. Like if, like honestly, it depends on what you're into, but like if you wanted to mount this like right here, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of light here, but um, it's just gonna, I don't know. Like it, it might be too much. It, dep I mean, it depends on the look. Like you can even see here, like it's hitting a little bit right here but nothing to the point where it's gonna be like distracting. You know, it's not like coming up here or like hitting, hitting the side too much. But um, man, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Like it's, it came out perfect. Blown away, hats off to F-150 LEDs. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Do you guys, uh, do yourself a favor and get yourself an uh, early Father's Day gift and uh, go pick this up. If you have a 2021, 2021 plus F-150, this is a no-brainer. Um, it just looks so sick. Really nice. Look at that. Damn, looks sick.